Good afternoon, everybody. Guys, I'm here with my brother. He is also Pan Africanist. <laughs> Hello, Africa. <laughs> Do you mind to tell them who you were? Hi, my, my, my name is Bhavesh. People call me B. Uh -huh. I'm born Indian, but my heart is African. Yeah. And you know what? My dream is to make Africa one. Uh. So, you know, that, that's why that's why I call him Pan Africanist. What we're going to do today is we're going to ride a train together from this station right here. Thank you. Uh, not here? This way? No, no, no. So what we're going to do is, since I came to Ethiopia, I've never rode a train before. And my, you, you never rode the train trip, right? Yeah, I've been in Edis for two years and I'm coming yeah. here for eight years. I'm yeah. living in two years, but I never took this train. Uh -huh. And I want to do it today with Mika, my brother. Oh man, this is exciting. So we were actually riding a car right there, but we decided to get off to just experience, you know, Addis train from here to the next session. And so, more than that, it's a statement to the world. Mm. Addis means business, Ethiopia means business, mm. Africa means business. Mm. We are two foreigners and we're enjoying and it's, 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 there's no war, there's no problem, there's no conflict. Look at this. Mm. It's all fun. This is Addis. Man, this is amazing. And this is to tell you, you guys, everywhere you are, you're welcome. Please come here, all right? There's a train, there's a buses. If you want to ride private car, you can do that as well. And look at this. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> So what are you expecting today, riding this train? Uh, I will tell the world, uh, wherever there is a, wherever there is a wheel, there becomes a way. <laughs> Railways uh, develop nations, wow. and uh, this showcase uh, commuting rail system can be duplicated and can be expanded and uh, let people move freely and it's eco-friendly yeah. and it's safe I, I love how you say that can you repeat again wherever there's a there is another quote wherever there's will w-i-l-l -L, there is a way but i'm yeah. saying there, wherever there's a wheel w-h-e-l -E exactly there's a way <laughs> and there's a progress <laughs> and that's why we are here today man oh this is great it's gonna be amazing experience I've been, I've been in Ethiopia, this is the third time, but I never rode a train, so I'm really excited for this one. A fun fact, mm. um, Addis is a natural air-conditioned weather. Oh, yeah. Uh, it would be right now, I guess, 20 degree, uh, we don't sweat, it's so beautiful. Uh, at the same time, there's sun. Enjoy this beautiful, beautiful, bountiful Africa. Okay, so I have another question for you. So what is Africa for you? Everything. Mm. It's future. Mm. I think humanity would realize what I'm saying today. Africa mm. it would be the savior of humanity in terms of kind-hearted people, happy people, mm. food security, mm. less pollution, a mm. uh, lot of progress. Mm. The demographics mm. uh, are in favor of Africa. Yeah. And what is your message to African youth? Skill yourselves aim high mm. and seize the opportunity mm. don't fall prey to people who misuse uh, by giving you wrong signals or misleading you just mm. focus on scaling mm. uh, seizing opportunity and developing yourself mm. there you have it guys there you have it It's really cool. It's really cute one. How was the experience, huh? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> man, it was really cool, man. Like inside the weather, it's it's amazing. It kind of like I think I think they have uh, air condition or something. Beautiful. And a lot of people, you know, some of them sitting, some of them standing. 
Um, well, it was good for you. All right. So the story ends. Lovely, Bye. lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Thanks, Mika, for making me uh, do this. Love you. <laughs> oh, I yeah. appreciate it. I appreciate uh, it. Uh, home bistro. All right, sir. I know that you are a vegetarian and you never tested food before. I mean, meat before. Uh, do you mind to explain to us why is that? And also, you can maybe tell us a little bit about Ethiopian culture of you know fasting and all the stuff. Thank you, Mika, for asking this question. Mm -hmm. I'm deeply rooted into compassion for animals and uh, I despise uh, human domination on the ecosystem. With due respect to those who choose to eat, uh, I have no offense or I have no uh, qualms about it, but as my personal life and uh, as my family goes, for generations we've never tasted meat or even eggs. Um, Vegetarianism comes very naturally, even uh, religiously we are Jains and uh, even it's even a very stricter uh, diet uh, regime in Jainism, but we don't follow that uh, completely. Um, so I'm vegetarian, uh, soon I'll probably become vegan where I'll stop even having milk products. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you watch documentary like Cowspiracy or if you look at uh, longevity of Earth, our biggest challenge now is how long the Earth would last, given the abuse humans are doing on it. Uh, we already seven point uh, few million uh, population where I believe, well, there is no science, but I believe Earth is configured for only half of what we are. And resultant issues with environmental damages, resultant issues with uh, diseases that came out is the Earth's way to respond to the issues that are happening. Mm. So, if we all reduce meat consumption and the animal farming, uh, which leads to a lot of damage to the ecosystem, look at the methane released by the animal, look at the amount of water used uh, in one kg of meat versus one kg of red be red beans uh, it gives the same protein but uh, uh, the vegetarianism is much more benign and much more friendlier to the planet earth uh, than having meat so these are my principles i want the humankind to sustain and to survive centuries and centuries more to reduce the burden on the earth uh, to become more sustainable and more importantly so is compassion there were so many exercises and experiments done there were kids given knife and they were told that why don't you kill your pig uh, and cook it the kid, kids refused to kill but they used to eat because the parents or, or the, the practices allowed them to eat but when you go inside i'm sure Mika, if you had to kill your own food and eat it might be a little disturbing to you so they are lives they are having feelings so there's a compassion angle also there uh, i know i am uh, one of the outliers and very few guys but these are my thoughts uh, my family does the same i'm also very happy my son who is a teenager not now a teenager he's a 20 years young but he also follows the same principles uh, we've never uh, enforced those but that's what we live for and that's what we do so let's enjoy a vegetarian meal look at the pakoras here we'll cut it still learning about utopian culture there's so much to learn but one of the things most fun fact and a unique uh, aspect of our utopian culture is every wednesdays and fridays are fasting days and they don't consume meat and sometimes they don't even consume dairy products so very nice uh, staying closer to nature and uh, being friendlier to animals also there are two periods uh, in a year one is a longer period i think more than 100 days uh, i don't know the exact fact number of days uh, where they don't they remain on a fasting mode it's called som in the local language and uh, during the fasting mode they are completely vegan plant based not even milk and there's another period of oh, i think 60 days or 50 days again in the calendar where they do the same so almost uh, half the year they are uh, in a vegetarian mode 
and the rest of the half year, of course, they uh, enjoy it. So that's a fun fact. Another fun fact about Ethiopia is uh, the Ethiopian calendar is uh, many years younger than the Gregorian calendar. So when you when you want to be you young, come to Ethiopia, your age would be reduced. <laughs> We're in 2015 right now. Yeah, you're in 2015. Right? <laughs> By the way. Vikram Savan 2079 is the Indian New Year. Mm -hmm. So Indian New Year, Hindu New Year is 2079, mm -hmm. started last week. Mm -hmm. And Ethiopian is 2015 mm -hmm. and Gregorian is 2022. 2021. No, 2022, yeah. Isn't it crazy? Wow. Yeah? So the world has so many funny facts to really enjoy the world. Yeah, beautiful. Time is the biggest enemy of performance because we always have limited time. Mm -hmm. As many times in corporate world and in academic world we say, I wish I had more time. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ethiopia gives you 13 months, not 12 months. There are 12 months or 30 days and there's an additional 13 months or 5 or 6 days. Mm -hmm. So you also have another fun fact, 13, uh, 13 months. Uh, if you really want to understand how Ethiopian uh, uniqueness is, go to a fruit shop in Addis Ababa. A fruit shop would be so well decorated and uh, go to any, any shops in the evening and you look at the bright lit lead bulbs. The, it is so well lit. So it's so well lit and it is so well organized. Uh, so that's also Ethiopia for you. Mm -hmm. I love that. Lights, they, they, they turn on the lights in the daytime also. Mm -hmm. See, look at the huge bulb there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And instead of one, there are five. Mm -hmm. So that's that's Ethiopia. Mm. If you can see the inside one of the coffee shop, yeah? Yeah. And look at the liquor shop, how well it is done. Yes, yes, good. Go down a little. Hey, ah, look at this coffee shop. It's just a small shop, but how well it is done. Wow. Yeah. So good. Well There's decorated. Something about aesthetics. Yeah. That with something. Uh, look at that kiosk inside that daytime, the light is there. Mm. 